Hello! I'm back in Tarir. But, um... I'm gonna have to deal with this event before I can see what's going on with the egg. This is getting serious. Look who's back. It's me. I appreciate the help. Sharp blades, sharp eyes. Lightning bolt! We have the power to repel Mordremont, and we shall reject its Mordrem from Tarir. in some deep trouble there.
your advantage. Kill them all! I reckon I'll go ahead and get some treasure. Right. 
expression. Strong! Never have too much treasure. Faster! That looks valuable. Too much treasure. Looks valuable.
Okay, now, on with the story. Whoops, no, hey. Commander, thank Glint. We tried to get word to you. I contacted your friends to see if they could locate you, too. The egg called to me. Is everything okay? Yes, most okay. It's hatching, Commander. Glint's second scion will soon be here. That's... We should get inside. Marjorie and Case. You called Case too. I wasn't called, but... I was nearby, and word spread fast. This is very exciting. Where's Ritlock? I thought he was with you. He's... indisposed. Ruka, can we all go in? I'm sorry, but you're still the only one attuned to the chamber. The magical barrier will not allow us. Great. I'll just stay out here with Kit, The glowy guy. It will give us a chance to catch up, Marjorie. Don't be gone too long, Commander. Something's wrong! Hold them off while I write this! What is it? Why is the barrier down? The chamber is designed to reattune to the neurons in this city. But this technology is centuries old! Strong! Something must have malfunctioned. Keep them away from me! I'll repair this as soon as I'm able! I need to focus on the chamber's defenses! Keep the destroyers away from Glint's hatching! I don't want to let these explode. 
kill them all. At least not before I grab them. At which point I can use them against the destroyers. There's too many! I can't cover! Lazarus! Leave! Immediately! Marjorie! Kate! They're tied up in battle as well. I do not come with ill intentions. Then earn my goodwill. Don't let the destroyers up those stairs. And give the dragon a wide berth, Lazarus. It would be a pity to have your second life be short-lived.
strong! Kill them all! Faster! them all. Sorry, we got held up outside. Destroyers, but what's happening? It's done, Commander. The barrier has been restored. The Scion of Glint is safe. Not until that Mersat is out of here. A Mersat? The Forgotten passed on tales of these creatures. I never thought I'd encounter one. You are the Dragon's champion and shepherd. But may I suggest purging this impurity directly? The Mersat I was in the Tales of the Forgotten is dead. I have been reborn, and rising from the Void brings with it a new perspective. We previously sought power through treacherous means, only to save ourselves when the dragons rose. But now, I see we must all stand against the dragons to save everyone. You hope to align yourself with me? You have killed two, have you not? Our interests are the same. The fire dragon is rising. I cannot stand idly by and repeat past mistakes. My actions since returning prove me a useful ally. Like when you destroyed the bloodstone. The Bloodstone was destabilized by years of misguided white mantle tinkering. I did absorb the blast to repower myself, but also, how many countless lives were saved? What's the angle you're running? What's in an alliance for you? The salvation of this world. The white mantle is splintering. Those who follow Codicus and those loyal to me. I can make them a force for good. Another spear and an army against the dragons. This is the same accord the Mursat struck with the Forgotten. 
Then, they simply broke their word and disappeared. That was a cowardly act of self-preservation, and something I will not repeat. You seem earnest enough, so I hope you'll understand when I tell you there's no way I can agree to this. You speak of transparency, but I can't keep an eye on you at all times. I have an idea, Commander. I'll do it. I'll dig into his claim. And if Lazarus is truly changed, we can reassess the situation. I welcome any inquiries. Oh, it'll be much more than that. I'm going to be embedded with you. Shadow your every move. Marjorie, can I speak with you a moment? What are you doing? He absorbed the Bloodstone's power. We obviously can't just easily put him down if his story doesn't check out. He's touched death, Commander. And now he's back. There's something... The Necromancer in me wants to find out more. And... who knows? I can't let you do that. It could be a trap. It's probably a trap. It's almost certainly a trap. There's something about him it makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up. And I can't tell if it's in a good way or a bad way. But I do plan to find out. I'm glad to be a part of Dragon's Watch, and I appreciate you looking out for me. But I won't be told what I can or can't do. Lazarus, let's move out. We have a lot to talk about, my floaty new friend. I can't help but feel like I'll be explaining this to Kazmir shortly. Given what happened today, I'd feel a little better if someone I knew was watching the chamber. Someone you trust? Yes. So, could you ask Taimi to get here right away? You're joking with me. I take that as a good sign. You've been a lot of things, Kate, but you've never been an enemy of this dragon. I'll lay down my life for... Uh, what should we call it? Her. Her name is Ori. You decided that quite fast. It wasn't a decision. I just... knew. Then no harm will come to Ori while I still breathe. Thanks, Kate. After the coming battle with this changed, more powerful Primordus, I hope any of us are still breathing. What are you doing out here? Hmm. That was... odd. Must have been some sort of projection. I should return to Tarir. Something strange is going on. Excellent timing. I was just about to send word. Aurene has been calling for you. Yes, I know. She's been appearing to me. Much like she is right now. Aurene? What are you talking about? And she's gone. Didn't you see her? Interesting. 
I saw nothing. You must have made quite an impression on her. It's as if she's chosen you to light her path. For now, Maureen is just an infant, forming her first pictures of the world around her. But make no mistake, she'll one day achieve great power. As her guardians, it's our duty to set her down the right path. I'm at Aureen's disposal. What's the plan? A bond already exists between the two of you. Our goal is to nurture and strengthen that bond. To that end, we prepared a series of challenges meant to demonstrate virtues to the hatchling. In the chambers ahead, you will help the needy, defend the weak, and train Aureen for battle. In the final chamber waits the truest test of your bond, a foe that you can only defeat with Aureen's trust and help. We've got our work cut out for us. Is Aureen ready for this? She'll be fine. Just be patient with her. Aureen's at a rambunctious age. And she sees everything as play. Step through the portal when you're ready. Rambunctious age indeed. Aureen, come on out. Gotta be around here somewhere. There you are. And she's gone again. Great. Gotta be around here somewhere. Come on out, Aurene. Found you. All right, Aureen. We've had our fun, but it's time to get to work, don't you think? Ready to demonstrate charity and benevolence to the Scion. How about it, Aureen? Are we ready? Then let us begin. Oh, thank the six. I haven't seen another soul in some time. These children are in desperate need, stranger. What's going on? Kids were orphaned in a vicious attack on their village. They lost everything. Their homes, their families. I'm taking them to an orphanage, but we've got a long road ahead of us, and we just run out of food. There's good fishing in the shallows nearby, but I can't leave the children. I'm awful at fishing. Could you help us gather some food to get us through the rest of our journey? What do you think, Aureen? Should we give them a hand?
I'm gonna have to defend Orin while she gathers these fish. Orin, go check the traps. If you go through here, you can find some toys that you can collect for an achievement. They're in a chest underwater. Maureen, you're not eating any of that fish, are you? Because we're supposed to be feeding starving children. Starving orphan children. We'll eat when we're done, okay? I'm going to assume that's Dragon for understood. Illustrate the virtues of mercy and honor for Glint's scion. Are you ready, Commander? You heard her. Let's get started. The trial begins now. Who goes there? Are you friends or foe? State your intentions. Calm down. We mean you no harm. What happened to you? We were ambushed by dragon minions. It was absolute chaos. Our casualties mounted swiftly, so we fell back here. We're tending to the wounded as fast as we can, but the creatures are hot on our trail, and it won't be long before... Wait. Do you hear that? Okay, I need to show Orle Orin how to lead the wounded vigils to... I can't talk. Lead the wounded vigil members to safety. Kill them all. she can handle that while I fend off the mortar. Refreshing. Kill them all! 
Kill them all! That should be all of them. You and your people are safe now. I can't believe we survived. We've all but given up hope before you came along. You and your companion, I mean. Thank you both. We were happy to help. Good luck on the rest of your journey. Greetings, Commander. This trial is meant to convey the virtues of courage and valor to the Hatchling. Shall we begin? Absolutely. Prepare yourselves. Strength of the pack. Only Orin can damage the ooze generators.
Kill them all! Wither! Strong! Strength of the pack. We heal as one. Armored up. I feel strong. That's all of them. You fought bravely, Aureen. Well done. Welcome to the last chamber, Commander. Here, your bond with the Hatchling will be put to a final test. You must work together with the Hatchling to defeat the foe that awaits you. Are you prepared to face this challenge? We've come too far to stop now. Let's do it. Ready yourselves. The test begins... now. I can't do a lot of damage to this thing just now. I just need to avoid its attacks until I get an opportunity to do a coordinated attack with Ori.
Kill them all! I feel strong! Kill them all! I feel... strong! I need you, Ori. Your moment has arrived. Don't hold back now! Wither! I can't see anything! One. Whoops. Need more endurance. Kill them all. I need you, Ori. Give it all you've got. Your moment has arrived. Don't hold back now. Kill them all. Buster. As one. Armored up. We heal as one. I need you, Ori. Give it all you've got. Your moment has arrived. Don't hold back now. Regression. We heal as one. Strength of the pack. Kill shot. Armored up. Kill them all.
them all. Armored up. Wither. I need your moment has arrived. Don't hold back now. That breath attack of yours was phenomenal. Outstanding work. I should speak with the Luminate. You rest now, Orin. You've earned it. Well done, Commander. We've given the Hatchling the best possible start that we can. She still has much to learn about her place in the world. But thanks to you, she has a foundation of trust to build on. Commander, do you read me? Sorry to interrupt, but I've got some urgent news. I've been examining the destroyer sample you retrieved, and I've come to a conclusion. I was right, as usual. So it's true. The dragons are absorbing each other's influences? And becoming more powerful in the process? That's right, and there's more. I've been digging through old Rodanovan research on Primordis for an exploitable weakness, and I found a solid lead. According to these findings, Primordis's domain of magic can be counteracted somehow, negating it altogether. As for the possible counteracting agent, I'm still investigating. New answers lead to new questions. What's your status? I just finished spending some quality time with Orin. Glad to hear it. Especially if it lessens the likelihood of an older, bigger Orin going rogue and slaughtering us all. I definitely wouldn't object to having a dragon fight with me rather than against me. There's an appealing thought. I wonder if... <gasps> Commander, th th that's it! We need a force that can counter Primordis. What if it's another dragon? An ice dragon, for instance. Remember what I was telling you about that chalk organ? How it could selectively filter certain types of magic? If we can discern magic types, we may be able to pit Jormag and Primordis against one another, destroying them both at once. Are you suggesting we get Jormag and Primordis to fight one another? How? Not the dragons themselves, their energies. As for how, I'm not quite sure just yet. Our first task is to test the theory. Okay, let's say we pursue this course of action. What comes next? We confirm the theory in the lab, utilizing small amounts of magic to see if they'll actually counteract one another. And we'll need an ice boot sample. One showing signs of influence from our dearly departed Mordromoth and Zaitan. Then I'd better get to the Shiver Peaks. I'll find Bram while I'm there, and talk to him about joining Dragon's Watch. I'm sure he'll want to hear all about our new plans for Jormag, too. I'll get to work on some means of pitting the energies against one another. Good luck in the Shiver Peaks, Commander. That looks valuable.
That looks valuable. I need to sell my junk items. Okay, we're going to Holbrook. Greetings, Dragon Slayer. What brings you to Holbrook this fine day? I'm seeking information on Jormag's minions, and also looking for Bram Erson. Have you heard any reports of Ice Brood that don't fit the expected description? As a matter of fact, we have. 
We've heard word from the far north of a corrupted creature unlike any we've seen before. But we don't advise traveling to the frozen wastes. Everyone who does either disappears or returns as Fawnir. We've lost too many. Lost because they went up there without chipping the tooth first. What's the significance of the tooth? Our most legendary ancestor, Aesgir Dragonrender, knocked out Jormag's fang and founded Holbrek around it. Once someone damages the fang, we'll know it's time to take back what Jormag stole. My comrade Taimi and I are working on a theory that could allow us to fell Jormag without sacrificing lives. Jormag had better watch out then. <laughs> it's not certain yet, and I could use some help. Do you know where Bram is? And Rox, is she here? Rox left with Garm yesterday to catch up with Bram. Bram has gone to the far north in search of a lost magical scroll he plans to use on Air's bow. That sounds like a fitting way to honor his mother. Hmm. There is no more dangerous area in the Shiver Peaks. I wish you good hunting. In the far north, just beyond civilization, there exists an expanse of tundra overrun by Svarnir and Jormag's ice brood. It is believed that Jormag has taken up residence nearby, and that the Elder Dragon's influence corrupts all who go there. The only safe place is a Coden Sanctuary, where the Quaggan and Coden residents stubbornly refuse to give up the fight. Smithing's like cooking. The more you love doing it, We're going north. get this hero point since it's on my way. Stop! I've seen enough.
My skimmer mount is going to be helpful here. I seek passage to the north. Then you are on the right path. But to follow it, you must take up Coda's flame. What is it? This is the very spirit of fire, as old as the world. Given to my tribe by Coda the Creator for safekeeping. The fire brings balance to corruption. If that is your purpose, you must carry it to survive. I think you should listen to that bear, Commander. I'm picking up some very high readings from that fire. Oh, you've definitely just picked up some ancient magic. Go now. Carry the fire into the north. My people will teach you its secrets.
On recon. Turn back now. Return from whence you came. There is no hospitality here. Oh now, fool. Even Quaggan's small eyes can see that this traveler is not lost, but on a mission. I was just trying to warn him. Quaggan knows what you were trying to do. Save another life. Commendable. But this traveler needs help, not saving. I offer my apology. Welcome to Sorrow's Eclipse. We are surrounded by corrupted creatures here. I was merely concerned for your welfare. I appreciate the concern. I am looking for strange ice brood. Have you heard of any that have changed recently? Do we dare mention it? Quaggan is hesitant. What is it? We have had reports from the Bitter North of a new ice brood abomination. It defies explanation. Yes, that's exactly the kind of thing I'm looking for. How do I get to that place? You don't. The entire area is <laughs> too cold. We've lost those who strayed too close to it. We don't know whether it was the cold or the ice brood. There must be a way to protect oneself from the cold, no? Hmm. Speak with Shaman Mimi. She has much advice to give. Maybe she will know what to do. Thank you. I'm also looking for a Norn named Bram Erson. I heard he was headed this way. Quaggan has not met him, but Quaggan and Coden will ask around. If you see any Quaggan or Coden herdmates, tell them to come home, please. Good. is a shaman to Malogan. Wagan knows you. Your legend has traveled far. Are you here to kill Jormag? First, I need to find one of Jormag's minions. A powerful one that isn't like the others we know. 
And you have heard that one exists in the coldest part of the Shiver Peaks. Yes, Quaggan sees that is true. Quaggan can help you, but only indirectly. You will die if you go up there without protection. In Quaggan's nightly spirit wanderings, Quaggan has seen Svanir who travel in the bitterest cold using magical protection. That sounds like what I need. Where can I find it? Your journey will be long. First, you must go to the big Svanir base and talk to them. They know. Talk to the Svanir? Is that a joke? The only way they will talk to you is if they think you are one of them. You are clever. Quaggan has faith in you. I see. I think I know a way around that. May Malagan watch over you and keep you safe, Shaman. Pillage! I'm going to need a disguise. You continue to live in fear, in open defiance of a greater being. But I ask you this, why fear that which can make you stronger? Why not embrace the ultimate spirit? Transcend your existence and forge your legend with Torbag. Strong! Strong! We heal as one! Wither!
strong. Strong! Uh, kill them all! All the thaw elixir. Go and gather ingredients to make more. Ugh. Why do I have to do everything myself? Because I'm surrounded by idiots! You there, get out! We have no more elixir! Did you not hear what I said, you crunting mongrel? I can help. You speak? Hmm. You have power around you. Potential. Help make Lixer. Perhaps yes. Perhaps no. You obviously don't have the intellect of a sorcerer. But perhaps... Perhaps you could be my assistant. Listen closely. First, go out and gather the ingredients on this list I give you. After that, you must find the hottest, purest water source. Heating water with fire will not do. It must come from Tyria's heart. That is where you will put it all together into the elixir. Bring it back here. Do not drink it. Do you understand? Do not drink it. Uh, yes. Bring back. Go away before I shatter you into a million pieces, Grunt. Do not approach me unless I command it. Maybe you'll think twice next time.
Kill them all! You, you, who you? What you want? Hello. I come in peace, seeking allies against the Svanir. Any enemy of the Svanir is a friend of ours. It's okay, Huga. We can talk. <sighs> talking, talking, always talking. Those who aren't already corrupted by Jormag must work together if any of us are to survive. I'm glad to hear that. I'm looking for ingredients that will help in a fight against an ice brood. What do you seek? Winter berries and frostbitten suet. Cold resistant eggshells. A firestone and the whereabouts of hot springs. A firestone? The Grawl here have them, but you'll have to earn their respect or they'll never give you one. What's the strategy? How should I go about it? They love their goddess. If you construct a shrine to honor her, I am confident they would reward you. And please be as respectful as possible with them. We need this alliance to last. Okay, this is actually where I'm going to stop for tonight. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.